In this educational overview, we'll explore the method known as swiping, a common credit and debit card fraud tactic. Understanding how this works is essential for awareness and prevention. Swiping involves duplicating stolen credit card information onto the magnetic stripe, you know, the black bar on the back of the credit card. With just the track data, criminals can use the card at most stores, both online and offline, without needing the PIN. They do this by running it as a credit transaction and swiping the card instead of inserting the chip. The tools typically used for swiping include a computer, an MSRX6 card reader, blank cards, and a stolen credit card often referred to as a CC to copy the data from. One reason swiping is so effective is that the name on the card doesn't have to match the actual cardholder's name. Creating a clone card can take as little as 45 seconds. Criminals might use an old card, change the track data, and then use it to spend someone else's money without detection. A common way to get cash using a track data only card is by obtaining cash back from stores like Save Mart, which offers up to $500 with a purchase. It's crucial to highlight that credit card fraud is illegal and carries severe penalties, including imprisonment and fines. This overview is intended solely for educational purposes, aiming to help individuals and organizations protect themselves against such fraudulent activities. Always engage in lawful and ethical behavior. Stay informed and protect yourself by subscribing for more educational content on preventing fraud and other malicious activities.